Hello everyone. Welcome back to Anshul Gupta MD, your trusted resource for everything related to thyroid health. And today I'm going to talk about a very important topic, how to reduce thyroid inflammation. Do you know that every time your thyroid gets inflamed, it starts the destruction of your thyroid gland. And sometimes that destruction can be permanent. The higher the amount of inflammation in your thyroid and more frequent inflammation in your thyroid, both will cause more permanent damage. So it is very important to know why your thyroid is getting inflamed and what you can do to reduce this thyroid inflammation. Hello, I'm Dr. Anshul Gupta. I help people reverse their thyroid conditions by making personalized functional medicine plans. So let's first discuss what are the signs and symptoms of thyroid inflammation? How do you know if your thyroid is inflamed? So the very first sign and symptom of thyroid inflammation is that if you have thyroid neck pain, yes, Thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland which is located in the front of your neck and if you have any discomfort or any pain in your thyroid area that means you have thyroid inflammation. The second symptom of thyroid inflammation is that if you are feeling anxious or you are on the edge all the time or you are getting panic attacks. These are all symptoms of thyroid inflammation. The next symptom is that if you are feeling tired all the time or you have body weakness. These are again signs and symptoms of thyroid inflammation. The next sign or symptom is that if you have gut related symptoms, like if you're having diarrhea, constipation, bloating, abdominal pain or abdominal cramping. The next symptom is that if you're having sleep troubles, that you have insomnia issues, you're not able to go to bed or you do not get good quality sleep or you keep waking up frequently in the night. The next symptom is that if you feel stressed out a lot of times or even minor things are making you stressed out. So these are all signs and symptoms of thyroid inflammation. Now you know all the signs and symptoms of thyroid inflammation. The next question comes is that what causes thyroid inflammation? What are thyroid inflammation triggers? And let's talk about those. So the number one trigger of thyroid inflammation is autoimmune conditions like Hashimoto's disease and Graves disease. What are autoimmune conditions? Autoimmune conditions are conditions where your body is producing antibodies against your own thyroid gland and that causes a permanent state of inflammation and that causes destruction of your thyroid gland. So that's the number one reason of thyroid inflammation. The second reason is viral infections or bacterial or parasitic infections. Yes, Epstein-Barr virus or infectious mononucleosis is the most common infection which triggers thyroid problems. Certain parasites in your gut like blastocystis have also been shown for causing thyroid inflammation. If you have gut-related issues like SIBO which is overgrowth of bad bacteria can also lead to thyroid inflammation. The next reason is toxins. Environmental toxins like organophosphates, like insecticides, like pesticides can cause it. Mold toxins in your environment, whether it is in your workplace, your home place can cause it. As well as air pollution or toxins in the air around you can also lead to thyroid inflammation. The next cause of thyroid inflammation is food sensitivities. What is food sensitivity? Now you have to know the difference between the food sensitivity and food allergy. Food allergy is a condition where you eat certain kinds of food, let's say peanuts, and then suddenly you get an allergic reaction where your face swells up, your whole body have highs, you have difficulty breathing. This is an allergic reaction. Food sensitivity is that when you eat gluten, your body produces very small amount of inflammation or antibodies, and that causes destruction of your gut and thyroid gland and that is food sensitivities. More and more people are becoming sensitive to different kinds of foods, especially gluten. So it is very important to know your food sensitivity. The last reason or trigger of thyroid inflammation is exposure to stress. Now this stress can be anything, physical stress, emotional stress, psychological stress, spiritual stress, any stress your body goes through can also lead to thyroid inflammation. So now you know what is the trigger of your thyroid inflammation. Now let's talk about how to reduce thyroid inflammation. So the very first thing to know over here is that this is only an educational video. If you are having an acute thyroid inflammation episode, it is very important to follow with your local doctor. Okay, now what can you do beyond following with your local doctor? So the first thing is food. As I explained to you, it is very important to stay away from food that your body might be sensitive to because you might be going through something called food sensitivity, which might be causing your thyroid inflammation. 
Now, a lot of people have this question, how do I know if I'm sensitive to particular foods or not? And the answer to that question is that it is very difficult. The only way to know whether you are sensitive to particular food is by doing an elimination diet where you eliminate that food for three to four weeks. And by reintroducing foods after three to four weeks, you can know whether your body is reacting to that food or not. Now, the most common food that people who have a thyroid inflammation problem, which you are sensitive to, are gluten, dairy, soy, corn, sugar, alcohol, processed foods, and processed meats. So these are the most common food which causes thyroid inflammation. So it might be a good idea for you to eliminate these foods for three to four weeks and see if your thyroid inflammation gets better. Now, the next step in reducing thyroid inflammation is to include food which fight inflammation and reduce its level in your body. In that aspect, the number one foods are non-starchy vegetables. Yes, all these colorful non-starchy vegetables have high amount of vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. And these all reduce inflammation, especially green leafy and cruciferous vegetables will help reduce your thyroid inflammation. The next foods are foods which are high in omega-3s like chia seeds, flax seeds, fatty fishes. All of these have high amount of omega-3s and omega-3s again reduce inflammation in your body. The third foods are spices like ginger and turmeric. They are again high in antioxidants and also reduce inflammation in the thyroid gland. So very important to include them on the regular basis. The next food to eat are nuts and seeds, especially Brazil nuts, pumpkin seeds, because they are high in selenium and zinc. Both of them reduce inflammation in your thyroid gland. The next food to include are iodine rich foods, especially seafoods and sea vegetables or table salt, which has iodine into it, because that will again help support your thyroid gland and reduce inflammation in your thyroid. The next way to reduce thyroid inflammation is by improving your gut health. There is a direct connection between your gut health and your thyroid health. So if your gut is inflamed, then your thyroid is also going to be inflamed. So it is very important to work on your gut by including probiotic rich foods, which are dairy free yogurts, kefir, sauerkraut, kimchi. Those are all great sources of fermented foods, which are high in probiotics. You can also include a lot of non-starchy vegetables because they are high in fiber and fiber supports your gut health. In that aspect, a good quality probiotic is also a good choice because that will give you all that good bacteria for your gut health. Now let's talk about some natural supplements that can also help reduce thyroid inflammation. So the number one supplement in that is a combination of zinc and selenium. Zinc and selenium both are very important minerals needed by your thyroid gland to proper production of thyroid hormone as well as to reduce inflammation in your thyroid hormone. So it is very important to take a supplement which has both zinc and selenium taken together. The next supplement is turmeric supplement. Now turmeric has something called curcumin into it. Curcumin has shown in several research studies that it reduces the level of inflammation in your body as well as in your thyroid gland and helps functioning of your thyroid gland. So turmeric is another supplement that you can take. The next supplement which helps with reducing inflammation is omega-3 supplements, especially EPA and DHA. It is very important to take good quality EPA and DHA supplement, which has at least 1000 milligrams of both of them. So that can show an effect on your thyroid gland and help reducing inflammation into it. The next supplement which can help reduce inflammation in your thyroid gland is vitamin D. Again, several research studies show that vitamin D is very important for maintaining proper immune health because it helps in reducing inflammation and rebalancing your immune system so it doesn't attack your own body. And in that aspect, actually, it reduces the antibody levels in your body and also improves thyroid inflammation. The next thing to reduce thyroid inflammation is by living a toxin-free lifestyle. As I explained to you, several toxins are present in our environment. It is very important to reduce our exposure to these toxins. For that, it is very important to drink water only from reverse osmosis water filtration system as that can remove all the toxins which are hidden in your water. The next thing to do is to try to eat organic foods and vegetables as much as you can. Because again, all of those things will reduce your toxin exposure. Skin products like shampoos, soaps, all the makeups and everything that you use on your skin, again, have high amount of toxins. 
So looking for products which are natural and do not have toxins will also be very, very helpful. The last thing to reduce inflammation in your thyroid is to reduce stress in your body. How you can reduce stress is by developing stress reduction routine. For that, incorporating meditation or deep breathing exercises are very, very useful. It has been shown in research is that 10 to 15 minutes of meditation or deep breathing exercises can reduce cortisol levels in your body as well as can reduce inflammation in your body. But you have to do these exercises on the daily basis, not once in a while. So incorporating these stress reduction techniques in your daily regimen will help you a long ways to reduce thyroid inflammation. Now you understand what triggers thyroid inflammation and how you can reduce this thyroid inflammation. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.